Uh, hi guys. Yesterday, I got the first dose of that COVID vaccine, bro. And my arm's sore as hell. Yeah. Oh! That crap hurt. But anyways, that's not the point of today's video. Today, we're watching Court Cam Top 5 Great Escapes. Like people running away from prison and jail. They escaped out that bit. Have you ever been to prison and you had to escape out that bit? Crap, I have millions of times. In that game called GTA. Have you? Let me know down in the comments below. But without further ado, <laughs> Freak me, man. This COVID crap. This arm so as hell. Let's just get straight to it. Let's kick things off Brad. in the Benton County Justice Center in Washington State. Man. Where a judge has found Gerald Hyde the second guilty of methamphetamine possession. God damn! With the arraignment now over, uh -huh. he's being taken back to jail. I bet, I bet. Or is he? Right, what you mean? That was smooth as hell though, I'm not gonna lie. Major secretly like, hold up, let me escape out this bit. Oh, hold up! Why ain't there more cops behind him, bro? What type of prison is this? And has slipped away from security and re-entered the courtroom. Bro, what type of jail is this? Bro, where are the cops? Where are the he police? He strips off his prison issue shirt. Oh, hell no. Man's really escaped and out there, man. uses it to hide his handcuffs. Bro, hold up. Where the fuck is the cops? Seriously. Usually when I be watching these or playing like GTA, there's like six million cops behind each other to make sure nobody be escaping out that bit. What the? Only one cop? Bruh. This man lucky as hell. I ain't gonna lie to He you. makes it to the hallway, and after a quick look around, he takes off. Bruh, ain't no way. Bruh, ain't no way. Along the way, he ditches the distinctive orange prison issue shoes. Man, what the? And continues barefoot through the courthouse. Man, what the? How is nobody... Bro, why did that dude not stop him, bro? If I saw a dude running barefoot with a tank top on, just running away like that, bro, I would have pummeled his butt to the behind. He makes his way to the, to the ground, I mean. Until he exits straight through the front doors ain't and no way. out onto the street. Bro, ain't no way. All before anyone... Bro, man really escaped out that bit. Seemingly even noticed he noticed. was missing. But within two hours... Police catch up with him hiding in a friend's house. Man, you escape out of jail, and the first thing you go to is your friend's house? Man, what He's the? He's immediately taken back into custody. That is the most stupidest thing. I would have been out that country. Next, we head been to out Jefferson the County Circuit Court in Louisville, Kentucky. We are on the record. Commonwealth versus Rayton Woodford. Allegation, which it is quite This is 29-year-old Rayton Woodford. I bet, bet. He's in the courtroom today for a probation revocation hearing. He'd previously been sentenced to probation I... for drugs and weapons charges, but violated the terms. I bet, bet, bet. Sitting a few feet away is Woodford's girlfriend. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be true? During Woodford's hearing, a detective provides testimony. Bruh, can they, like, speed this bit up, bruh? We get it. Just hurry up to the escape. Hey, what the... And, uh, narcotics. Um, and if you know, was Mr. Woodford at the time a convicted felon? Uh, yes, he was. Once the testimony concludes, the camera, controlled by Judge Barry Willett, yeah. remains locked on the empty witness chair as the judge announces his decision. Man, what the? Probation revoked in its entirety. Mr. Woodford, I'm going to send you to serve five years. Good luck to you. God damn! Five years? For violating probation? Oh, hell no. Bro, what the? Hey, bro. What, what, what is this law system, bro? Five years for violating probation? <laughs> Holy crap. I can understand like 20 days a month. No, man. Five years? Oh, oh, shit. What the fuck? What the fuck? Across the screen was Wood <laughs> going to run for it. Man, you need to stop that thing. Woodford's girlfriend can be heard pleading with her boyfriend to stop. Bro, what the? Man's really escaped out that bitch like among us. We'll reflect that Mr. Woodford made an unsuccessful effort to escape. Oh, uh, hell yeah. That five years turned into like about like 20, 30 years. Shit. Damn. 
and Woodford is stopped by deputies. He's brought back into the courtroom now and taken into custody. Oh, hell no. We're at the Lewis Finally, a camera that's actually good quality, bro. What the? The courthouse in Chehalis, Washington. This camera have a the good courtroom quality. Of Judge R.W. Buzzard, who's just finished some business. Hey, bro, why these people in the background here? You see my mouse? Why they got that Blue School shirt on, bro? What's that dude name from Blue School, Steve? This yeah. week, the four defendants to the oh, right. Got his shirt on. This is Tanner Jacobson, who's charged with reckless driving and driving with a suspended license. I, I. This is Cody Howard, uh -huh. who's charged with second degree burglary, first degree trafficking in stolen property, that. third degree driving with a suspended license, and two warrants what for the? failing to appear in God court. God damn! I still don't understand how there's motherfuckers out there who just don't give a shit about life. They just go and do whatever they want, bro. Damn. You know, I could understand stealing from here and there. I'm not saying it's good to steal, but I can understand you stealing because you need it. Like, you don't have enough to afford it, and you need it. I'm not advising you to steal, but I'm just saying I understand. But, damn, these motherfuckers just don't care. Either of them. What the? What is around. wrong with them? Judge what Buzzer is up with these bozos? It's on. They did that Keep in mind, thing. the two escapees are in handcuffs. And prison issue sandals. Uh, yeah. So, ah! Man's fell on the floor. A witness points the judge in the right direction. As does this bright orange clue here. They uh, made it to the third floor stairwell. Are they really skipping up this bit? They really skipping up this bit. God damn. And now to the second. Yo, Just one floor away. I'm not gonna lie, that second dude, slow as fuck. From freedom. He needs to catch but Judge Buzzard bro. is gaining some ground. Yeah, hell yeah, that does. Especially on the one who lost his sandal. Ah! The judge tackles the lagging defendant ah! just outside the exit to the building. Oh, Two snap. deputies catch up moments later. Bro, what happened to that first dude, though? And bring him back to a cell. Bro, the other defendants dude. picked up just a few blocks away. Both oh, have second degree escape added to their charges. God damn. What were these two thinking? Glad you asked. We were yeah. sitting there on the benches together and he's like, I'm gonna run. I said, what am I doing? What did I just do? I gotta go with it now. There's nothing, I can't stop right here. There's nothing I can do now. I'm, I'm screwed. I only get like four blocks and then I stop. Like I just stopped on my own. I'm like, what am I doing right now? It so then go back. Y'all know y'all gonna get caught. What the? Y'all gonna say, what are... How you escape and say, what are you doing? Bro, if you have no plan, then what the... What the fuck? These people are stupid. It's just a split These second, people are like, stupid. decision. I don't even know why I did it. Stupid. Like, I would be out of here if I wouldn't have ran. What the? Our next stop is at the Fayette County Justice Center in Fayetteville, Georgia. I bet. Where 24-year-old Ronard Neal... So what here. is this quality? What the? Here's before Judge Fletcher Sams. Right, this quality hella bad. To face previous charges of theft and fleeing officers. I bet. But there's one big problem. What's that problem? He was supposed to be there yesterday, bruh. but didn't show up. Man's on his little mosey type shit, bruh. So after a bench warrant was issued for his arrest, Judge Sams orders deputies to take him into custody for failure to appear. I bet. But Neil has other ideas. Let me see how he's Oh shit, that's really choked him! He man's tumbles really into an him. adjoining courtroom. Hey, you don't got hair colors. As he runs through Bro, what is this quality, bro? Bro, what is this quality? God damn! Is a door. Neil escapes down bro, the stairwell really toward the first floor exit. And he got no handcuffs on, bro. Yeah, that motherfucker he can out there. almost taste his freedom. Oh shit, he out. But with deputies and police officers Bruh, in hot the, pursuit, he was returned fast? to court later that day, where he pleads guilty to his previous charges. God damn. And for his escape attempt, which included damaging property and injuring officers, Neil's hit with additional charges and five more years in prison. God damn, man. He's, He's currently serving a 10 year sentence damn, in Georgia's bro. least. Ten years. Ten years. That's a long ass time. Eight prison. Yes. You go to the juvenile justice center in Nashville, Tennessee. It's after 9 p.m. Four teens, age 15 to 17, 
have been left unsupervised while on a work detail off yeah. camera in the basement of the building. As minors, these boys are staying here instead of jail while they await trial for crimes, including armed robbery, auto theft, and murder. Hey, what the? And as you can see, they don't hey, what's about to in this around bit? for their trials. They've just come up a basement elevator and are wearing what appear to be yellow security vests. Uh. Oh shit! While he out. One of the young men begins making his way he down out. the hall. He changes his mind and follows the others up the stairs. Bruh, how you leave this place unsupervised, bruh? No wonder you guys gonna have people escaping out this bit. Why you have this place unsupervised? Man, what the? What the? When they get to the ground floor. The teens bolt through the front entrance. And the no door open! Cameras catch the entire escape. Ah! For now, they've made it and run off into the night. Ah! Eventually, all four involved in the escape were caught and could now face additional charges. It's God later damn. discovered that the four teens likely had help from the inside. Two employees are terminated and arrested for assisting the juveniles in their escape. Damn! Damn! Bro, they really playing the GTA heist in this bit. Holy shit! Anyways, yo, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I can barely scream with this sore arm, bro. My arm hurt! Damn! Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, man. Shit! Look at all those people that escaped. Let me know. If you had the chance to escape prison, would you do it? If you had the, the chance, the, the time is right, everything is right, no security, anything, would you do it? Let me know down in the comments down below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And last but not least, I love every single one of you guys. And I'll get it. Damn, my 